Hi everyone, it's Gail. I wanted to play a little bit with um, a, a technique I used when I did mixed media. I've got this little folio here of all sorts of my old mixed media stuff. And the, the concept is masterboards. So taking a piece that you have created yourself and um, either scanning or copying it to have more pieces to use in what you're doing. And I wanted to make some collages for the farm journals that um, I, first of all, for the ones that I'm doing and then for the kids that I'm doing. And so I kind of pulled things out and I thought I want to just look at what I have and see what might work for doing um, doing a copy of and then tearing apart and collaging. So it's really being able to recycle your own work is what it is. So I thought I'd show you a few of the ones that I had done. Um, these were just some that I had done years and years ago. This one I did on the back of a of a um, 12 by 12 paper stack cover and this one has fabric and that kind of stuff on it. Um, this one was one that I did and then I cut in force. I, I'd copy it on cardstock, cut it in force and make postcards. That was that one. Um, this one was just, I, I, I loved this eye. It was in a book that I had read and I don't know if you can see, but it's got it's got design in the eye, and so I just painted and collaged and just um, made something out of that. And these, this was just painty stuff. This was something that I did in a class um, at our at our local art gallery. It's um, pastels. And then this is just a piece, a uh, painted piece that I did on old wallpaper. So that's kind of what's in my portfolio, but none of those really were the colors or and that sort of thing that I wanted for my farm journal. So what I did is I took some that I felt like I might want bits and pieces out of. And so this is this is one that I grabbed out and I wanted to show you kind of the difference too. This is regular copy paper. So it's very muted. The colors are toned down. This then, this is a uh, matte photo paper. And so it's much brighter, more vibrant. So depending on the look you want, and I wasn't sure. So I did, most of these I did uh, one on both so that I could see what they look like. So that is that one. Um, and then this one, this again was a piece that I did in a local art class. And this one spoke to me for circus journals. So I wanted to see how it did. And I did this on matte photo paper and it came out really great. This was a, a colored pencil technique that we did. And um, anyway, so I'm gonna save this for my circus journal and if I do circus kits then I can include one of these in there so then um then there was this piece again was from another another art class that I did at the local art gallery which which reminds me that I really haven't done that in a long time and I need to go back and do it but that was a fun one. So I did a variety of those. I did do the copy paper, which is real muted and I do like that. And then I wanted to get the bird for sure. I don't know, maybe this whole page would just be fun for, um, for the farm journals. And then I did kind of a, a closer up in a piece there. So did those from, from this piece. See, I'm just going to kind of shift these around because I'll put these back in my little folio here and have these to play with. This one was just um, little 
little something I did on some, this is just, I think this is just watercolor mixed media paper. Anyway, I was sort of into, that was during my floral period. <laughs> so, um, and then there is the one on copy paper and there is the one on photo matte paper. So have those two to play with. And then this one is um, just a collage. Um, there's some napkins here, little postage stamps here and there, paint. There's just all sorts of stuff on this one. And um, so this was, this was the uh, copy paper really muted and but look at the photo paper oh my gosh I think it's prettier than the original almost so there we go um that was that and then I was like oh I don't know if the colors are what I want whatever <laughs> so I did I did an I did another one today um I did this one and it's kind of more in the style that I'm into these days and then um let's see how did i i think i did oh yeah here's here's the copy paper and it's very muted love it that that was i think oh that was a, i did two copies because i was kind of trying to figure out what i was doing on the scanner and then this is the photo paper so I have that one to play with. I, as you can see, I really kind of got, I, I got a little crazy. <laughs> but this one, I should mention too, that I used some of the eco dyed papers from Rosemary Morris. She is the Rusty Peacock on Etsy. And so I will link her below just because I always want to give credit where credit is due. She sent me, she sent me this uh, bag here of all sorts of scraps kind of like this she just said scraps to play with so I did rosemary I played with the scraps so anyway that that was that so um so those are fun I love those so I'm going to put that in my folio too and then I can just go back to it now I do have that one scanned into my computer too um and then the next thing that I did is I took some of my trims and I scanned those in because especially I wanted this one with the chickens and I made extra copies of that. These copies I'm going to put in the kits, the farm kits that I'm doing. So, um, have some pieces for that. So I better not use those. Um, what I wanted to ask you on this too is, I did scan these in. I have no idea how to sell digitals on my Etsy. I, I just, I don't know how to do it. Um, oh, this is copy paper and this is the real paper. Wow, such a difference. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in, in this particular digital. I, like I say, I have no, experience putting digitals on my Etsy. I never, I said I was never going to do it because uh, I thought it would be too much time at the computer, but I will put this on if I can figure out how to do it, <laughs> if you guys want me to. So we have that to play with too. So I am going to make a little uh, master board collage. I'm just going to use copy paper eight and a half by 11 because then I know that it will be the the size that I want to um to scan or copy on my computer okay so let's play let's play I want to grab my oh it's such a big old thing of scraps here because we'll use that too I might use I might use some fabrics too in this. I I just don't know. I don't know. So let's just let's just start and start gluing. I just this piece of music caught my eye. Um, I did grab this old old book because I think it's not copyrighted or anything. Not that I mean, 
for the most part, these are gonna just be for me, I, unless I figure out this digital thing and go a little crazy, which is usually what happens when I learn something new. <laughs> so we're just gonna glue away and, um, and play a little bit today. Uh, I wanted to say too that um, what inspired me to revisit these master boards is my pal Rachel at Roxy Creations. Oh, she just, that girl, she gets me going. Um, anyway, like I said, I'd, I'd done them, but I hadn't done them in a long time. And I don't know where I want that. Let's just put it in the middle since I can't decide. Um, and anyway, she was playing with collage like this and then, and then, uh, making copies, scanning it in. Okay. I'm going to turn that around cause that went upside down <laughs> cause I was talking. Um, and, and so, yeah, anyway, I just think, um, she's wonderful and she always inspires me. So I had... I thought, well, geez, I need to pull out those ones that I'd done so long ago and just see if I want to use them at all. I'm not worried about this white around the edge. I think what I do before I scanned it or, um, or copied it is go ahead and just ink around it like I would, you know, anything else. So anyway, yeah, I I don't know if I can figure out how to I don't know if I can figure out how to scan but or um how to put it on Etsy, but I will try if you if you guys want that. I I thought it turned out awesome. I love it. So and what I love is there's a couple of those pieces that I have just, you know, about 8 inches of. <laughs> so, um you know, it's not going to go super far. So I am excited to have it in, you know, in digital form that I can just use and use and use over and over and over. This is wrapping paper that I'm hoping I didn't get glue clear till the edge so I could just cut it off. Um, yeah, so... It is crazy here in Montana. We have a foot of snow. We have below zero temperatures. It when I last looked, it was 28 felt like 28 below. So yeah, it's freezing. And it's it's funny because I know they canceled um they canceled Uh, mail delivery back east <laughs> when it was this cold, but hey, it's Montana. We nothing gets canceled at, hardly ever here. Like, like when I was a kid, I don't ever remember having any snow days. Oh, I just I love all that. I think I'm just gonna keep it all. Um, this was from Happy Mail. This was a piece from Happy Mail. Anywho, yeah, it's cold. And my husband's just out there trying to keep up with the snow. Um, it snowed pretty much all day yesterday. There was a couple of breaks and then um, all night too. <laughs> so, luckily neither one of us had to go anywhere today. I have Bunko tomorrow night. I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I want to go. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm trying not to be a wimp and... I guess I'll, I guess I'll do it. I'll just buck up and do it. Let's see, give me another piece out of this children's book. All these little, um, yeah. So anyway, it's cold and snowy, so it's just staying inside. It was nice yesterday just to have the, Super Bowl, so we didn't do anything. We just stayed home and got our treats ready. That's what we were busy doing.
Yeah, so I kind of, on this one, I kind of wanted to do like a neutral background. And then I want to have some of that chicken trim and then also some doilies. Oh, I didn't show you those. I did scan some of my doilies too, which I'm like, oh boy, I might be stepping myself right into the world of digitals, but we'll see. What do I do with my doilies? Um, oh, I must have left them on the printer. Did I? Hang on one second. I'll be right back. I can't find them at the moment, so I guess we won't be using those. Oh, that's so weird. I scan a whole bunch. Oh, there they are. I found them. <laughs> I have too much stuff on my desk. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, so I scanned some doilies, too, and thought I could maybe, maybe use some of those. I was thinking mostly about that one. So, anyway. Gosh, if we use that one over here on this side, it would practically cover up that whole thing, wouldn't it? Okay, then. Sorry about that. Having to run over to my printer and then not have it even be there. So, um, yeah, when I... I started scanning like all, all this stuff and I'm like, well, I'll just scan it and I'll just use it. And then I don't have to cut up the original piece, you know, and even though I like to sometimes because sometimes I want that, um, I just want the texture, you know, um, but then I'm like, oh boy. I don't know, maybe people will want them. And if they do, I want to try and share. So we'll see. I think I kind of see how to list like one item, but like the whole thing of um, putting on, you know, how kits and stuff. I don't know. I. Uh, last summer, everybody was asking for me to do my um, eco prints, and I could do that if I could figure it out. I don't know. So, have to have to call my friend Diane Shaw and ask her how she did it. <laughs> She's good about helping her. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty, isn't it? That's just fun. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, I wish I would have put that over there and put, no, it would still be the same. I was just thinking if someone wanted to use this in as, um, in a, a journal, the page in a journal. Sorry, I can't find my words here, but I guess that's okay. Let's do it. I'm having fun. Let's do it. So anyways, um, yeah, I'll see what I can do. I don't know. It's so hard teaching an old dog new tricks. I mean, my kids are truly baffled that I am on YouTube. They're like, really, Mom, you figured out how to do that. Well, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm a smart girl. <laughs> but I don't know about listing. We'll see. So I worked yesterday while football was on the TV. I worked on getting the kids together and I'm getting real excited about them. It's like, it's just so funny because, um, you know, I just, I, I don't know. I, 
Just have never put together a kit before like that, but I can see why people do it. It's fun. It's just fun, you know, thinking of the stuff to put in it and, you know, and watching, watching it come together as you're, as you're doing it. It's kind of cool. The funny thing is, you guys, is I did not know until today how to use my scanner on my computer. <laughs> Um, I'd get to this one point and I'd push the button and it would say unavailable. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Well, come to find out it's, I was pushing the wrong button. <laughs> Go figure, right? Oh, so I'm thinking about, do I want that down the whole side? I think I just want it partially. I think I'm just I'm gonna cut this off. I think I'm just gonna put it down. Don't even think I want it to the edge. I think I just want it about there. Yeah, let's do that. So anyway, I learned something new today already on my computer, which was how to scan. <laughs> that's sort of that's sort of the first step, isn't it? Oh man. But, you know, I really, I, I don't have any desire to do, like, electronic collage and figure out, you know, ooh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? I'm going to put that one right there. Look how it just fits. Oh, man. Happy accident. Um, but I guess one should never say never because I didn't think I'd ever put anything on, which still remains to be seen if I can figure it out. But Okay, so that's fun. I don't know. I think I'm going to be done with that one. Because that's just really fun. I bet you we're only, oh yeah, we're only 20 minutes in. Let's do another one. I was thinking about making this a tutorial on master boards, but I think I'm just going to do a craft with me because I just want to play and I want to chat with you guys while I do it. Okay. Well, I'm really happy with that one. Do you guys, what do you think? Kind of cool. Okay. So I can't show you what the copies are going to look like, but I think they're going to be pretty because they're, I think... I feel like almost the, the matte photo paper almost makes it more um, vibrant than, you know, it's crazy. Okay, um, what I'm thinking is I, I want to use this fabric on this one, I think. Yeah, maybe just just on one side. Maybe I'll use fabric on one side and then I've got got a doily in here that I could use on the other side maybe okay we're getting ahead of ourselves we must lay the foundation first <laughs> so maybe I'll I like this but at the same time I'm thinking Well, maybe we'll just make this one pink. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to... Actually, I want to kind of put it so it's on both pages. I'm thinking if if the gals that get these kits wanted to use these for um, pages, I want them to be able to and have them make sense as pages. But you could also use them to tear up and do your own collage is what I'm thinking. I'm going to have to, I didn't distress around the edges of that one either, but I need to do that on both of them, I feel like. Okay, I got some, got some music paper hiding down here. What do we have? Ooh, that's, that's very busy music paper. We 
really like it though. And I can always clip around the edges, right? But I want something in there, which is probably a book page. And I happen to have this little, this little piece right here. So that might be good. So let's get a little more book page. Cause I'm thinking down low there in that corner, maybe it needs a little bit too. I said to Rachel last night, I am obsessed with this collaging. It's just, I feel like it's so much fun, so relaxing. And just, and just, I love the, love the outcomes of it. I love, I love, just love it all. So let's put that down there. Kind of like how just a little bit of pink shows through there. Got that kind of there. So what do we want there? We want something different. scan that before I tear it up. Now see I'm going to be the crazy scanner woman <laughs> who scans everything. I feel like I might need a little more pink up in that corner. I don't know if I have any more of that paper in here. You guys this thing is so full that ooh I love those. I don't know how farmy they are. Um, this thing's so full I can hardly hardly look in it because it's just full to the brim. There's a piece of that. Which might be fun. Just grabbing out a few possibilities here. some different text there. there. And what else? Maybe I can use a little more of my play scraps here. This would bring the pink up in that corner, wouldn't it? moved over that was there this was here I'm gonna have to start gluing down here but sometimes I like to wait to see what it is I want on the bottom you know okay then Actually, we have this, which is winter squash. I think I'm okay using things that aren't copyright free because I'm not selling these. I mean, they're going to be part of the kit, but I'm not selling them as digital prints. You know what I mean? So... Because I thought that with rosemaries too. I mean, I can't, I can't sell those as digital prints either because it's not my work. Okay. Oh, I know why I was.
was doing that because I want to. I wanted to stress a couple of the edges on a few of these because like this one's got a lot of white. So we'll just distress that up a bit. This one could use distressing too, and then I think I'll distress around the edges of the book or of the paper. Sorry. Yeah, have that in the middle. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll. Now I'm kind of liking the distressed edges of everything. Makes a little bit different um, look to it when you do that. Okay. So we'll have that, that, and that distressed. I feel like I need to distress this one if that other book page is going to be distressed. Other than that, I think that's what all we'll do. Okay, start peeling this apart. See, this is on the top top. So we'll do this one, then this one, and then that one. Okay. Alrighty, gluing, gluing, gluing. Finally had to throw away my other ooh -hoo. it was done for. But that's okay. I have them to use them, right? Yeah, I really like how that pink shows through there. Yeah! <laughs> Got a little rip there and I just I just made it a big rip. That's all right. It's gonna be glued down. It'll be all one piece anyways. Okay. Might have to get a new page. It's not too bad. I think it's got a cute couple more glues in it. Ah. Oh. Shoot. want this down first and then that oh well that might dry and that's okay if it does we'll just re re glue it I knew that rip was there too <laughs> it's a great way to use ripped paper though because um, you know you're just going to glue it back together again, so. Okay. That one in the corner. And we'll do this one. over a little bit can't we oh did I have it I don't know how I had it let's go this way with it though okay and then this one that is now all dried up okay not straight don't care. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then I'm going to put this guy kind of 
right in the middle. Sorry if you're hearing banging around. My husband is clearing off our deck of snow, trying to make way for the hot tub. <laughs> yeah, he's the hot tub has been his savior through all this. Okay, so then what if we put that there? And oops. Okay, well, let's go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Okay. Well, that's all right. That's kind of fun. That's fun. And this, I'm thinking it will be cut in half so it won't be. This goes over a little bit. Okay. I like that. I like that. Let's see if we can. This is two pieces, so. Just do one piece like that on there. Do we like that or is it too much? We put that at the top. I kind of like that. Okay. It makes me happy. It looks like a smile. <laughs> Let's see if I got that anywhere close to holding this piece down. Yep, I did okay, except for down here. And, you know, really, it only has to hold well enough to keep it tacked down a little bit. It's not like we're using this in something. We're going to stick, I'm going to stick mine back in my little folio and it'll just be there for future who knows what. Okay, and then this one, I'm not sure where's the fabric tack. have just a little bit left in this one, but I have enough to tack it down a bit. Hopefully that'll be good. And we'll just put that to the top. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so let's take this then. Give it a good distress around the edge. That just covers that white up just like magic. So that's perfect. Okay. Ooh, I like that one too. That's fun. I feel like I want a little bit of, just need a little bit of color on that. It was just a little too stark for me. Okay. Okay, and then this one, let's see what it looks like if we do the edges too. Okay. 
and my next craft with me maybe we'll I'm gonna try and um, remember to show you the copies of these yeah so I think I'll make copies of these two and then the trim to go into the kits that'll be fun Then I better get back to work on the journals, huh? I do have one more idea though that I want to share probably in the next craft with me. So, <laughs> so there you go. I don't know that I'll, well, I don't know. It might be one that I can share at the beginning and, and then we can craft. So anyway, the, there's my two pages. What do you, what do you think everybody? Those will be nice, won't they? So yeah, so next time I'll show you how the how the copies came out. Yeah. So there you go. Well, we're only 40 minutes, but I think I'm just going to continue on. So um I think I'm going to call this a video. And let me know once again about this minus the chickens that are on there. If you if you want me to work on getting that on my shop, I will. So, thanks everybody for watching and we will just see you next time. Bye-bye.